from a wild tornado in Arkansas that spawned outside this local man's store, and a state trooper who watched as a twister touched down in front of him, to a drill bit tornado in Manitoba that went down as the most powerful in Canadian history, and a terrifying storm in Medill, Oklahoma that one local could hardly believe. Here are 10 monster tornadoes caught on camera. Jonesboro is a small city in northeastern Arkansas, not too far from the Missouri border. With nearly 82,000 people, it's the fifth largest city in the state. It's located on Crowley's Ridge, a geological formation that rises between 250 feet to 550 feet above the plains. On March 28th of 2020, a powerful tornado tore through the heart of Jonesboro. It destroyed walls, flattened commercial buildings, and sent debris flying everywhere. One local shop owner was trapped inside when the tornado moved across the street. By Sunday morning, officials estimated that the twister caused hundreds of millions of dollars in damage. Officially rated an EF3, the storm tore through the Turtle Creek Shopping Mall and the Jonesboro Municipal Airport. Luckily, nobody lost their life and only a handful suffered minor injuries. That said, cleanup and damage calculation was a whole other process. The Red Cross reported that 50 homes were destroyed and 200 other structures sustained significant damage. As we were only a few weeks into the COVID-19 pandemic, Mayor Harold Perrin said stay-at-home orders likely saved many lives. Damage to the mall was so bad that it never reopened. It was scheduled for demolition in April of 2023. Dolores is a small city in southwestern Uruguay and home to about 17,000 people. Dolores doesn't get much media attention for the most part, but a massive tornado in April of 2016 thrust them into the international spotlight. The storm touched down around 4.11 p.m. local time. Winds clocked in between 136 and 200 miles per hour as the storm ripped through the middle of town. It decimated everything in its path. One brave local was crazy enough to capture it on video. According to reports, the storm destroyed dozens of homes and injured over 200 people. Uruguayan Senator Guillermo Bisozzi told American reporters that many churches and schools had been completely destroyed. It was unlike anything he had ever seen in his life. Compared to the U.S., Uruguay and the rest of South America see very few tornadoes. In fact, the U.S. averages over 1,150 tornadoes each year, which is above and beyond every other country. That's more than Australia, Canada, and all European nations combined. But just because something isn't common doesn't mean it can never happen. The most powerful tornado ever recorded in Canadian history is known as the 2007 Eli Tornado. It was an F5 storm that struck the town of, you guessed it, Eli in Manitoba, Canada. Before the storm, Eli was a tiny, unincorporated community in southern Manitoba. 
They had no idea they were about to go down in Canadian history. It was June 22nd of 2007. The area was in the middle of a two-day tornado outbreak when this storm touched down around 6.25 p.m. This storm was highly unusual, though. Other than being a rare F5, it caused most of its damage during the roping phase when it was only 35 yards wide. Well, you'll see what we mean thanks to this local storm chaser. Yoink. Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down. I'm actually shaking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, man, I'm telling you. You're looking at the early stages of a drill bit tornado. These storms take on a very narrow shape, but don't let that fool you. It can still spin extremely fast, like a motorized drill. Thankfully, our storm chaser was about a mile away, so he could keep recording and make a quick getaway if needed. It's on the ground. Yes. It's pretty big. It's doing its down. I think it's hitting a field right now, and I think it might hit the town. Ryan, this is freaky, man. It may not look like much, but that tornado is causing extensive damage to the farmland and mills below. The longer our cameraman kept filming, the more powerful it got. Awesome. Looks pretty sweet, though. Like, oh, yeah. I've never seen one before, so... No, me neither. I've seen minimal funnel clouds. But yeah. The biggest... Straight up and down, too. It's been going for a while. Well, I know. Usually they're the weak ones that just die off, eh? Yeah. Okay, right now. Yeah. It's tearing shit up, man. I can hear it. Yeah. And Eli. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah, it's, I think it's hitting the town. Eli, I think no, it's, it's either beside it or it's hitting it. Here, hold on. Yeah, I gotta take some pictures of this shit. Actually, it just went, it, it, about 10 seconds ago, it hit a power line. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same one. But I gotta go mow can. Later. Bye. In the end, the Eli tornado lasted 35 minutes and caused $39 million worth of damage. It went down in history as the first and only F5 tornado to ever be confirmed in Canada. Wind speeds were recorded between 260 and 320 miles per hour. By some miracle, nobody got hurt. But that's because a tornado warning went out long before the storm touched down. Our cameraman was probably the closest Canadian to the storm. Medill is a small city in southern Oklahoma, about halfway between Oklahoma City and Dallas, Texas. It's home to about 4,000 people who witnessed a terrifying tornado on April 22nd of 2020. For one of them, it was her first time. Our camera woman was walking outside when the tornado touched down. She quickly pulled out her phone and recorded this harrowing first time experience. Yeah. Oh my God. This is still in the water, right? <laughs> As you can tell by her video, the storm caused massive amounts of damage across Medill. Aftermath footage shows the extent of the damage. Roofs collapsed, walls were torn off, and everyone in town was left without power. We believe the buildings in these aftermath images are J&I Manufacturing and Oklahoma Steel and Wire. Both are major employers in the Marshall County area. According to the National Weather Service, the Medill storm was part of a nine-tornado outbreak that struck southern Oklahoma. Tornadoes are nothing new in this part of the country. Oklahoma sees the third most twisters every year, with 75 on average. Texas and Kansas take the number one and two spots.
When you get a tornado warning on your phone, the last thing you should do is go look for it. But hey, it's a free country and storm chasers can do what they want. Instead of getting in the basement, these people put themselves in front of the storm. But sometimes people wind up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Take this state trooper, for example, who found himself staring down the barrel of an approaching tornado. This footage was filmed back in 2002 by storm chaser and photographer Jim Reed. When the video starts, you see the tornado first starting to take shape. You can see that it doesn't really look like a full-blown tornado at first. The dust isn't exactly reaching into the sky like you might expect, but it doesn't take long for this to change. In less than 20 seconds, it turns into a massive landspout tornado and one hell of an iconic shot. The next clip comes from Tohoka, a tiny community in northwestern Texas. On May 5th of 2019, a supercell formed in the area southwest of Lubbock, Texas. It began as a small, dusty funnel, but quickly grew into a powerful tornado. This time, a group of storm chasers went looking for trouble. While the storm remained over mostly rural areas, it still damaged several homes, buildings, and trees. The National Weather Service called it an EF2 based on the damage it caused to power poles. Speaking of rare tornadoes, this next clip comes from the town of Angus, a small community in Ontario, Canada. On June 17th of 2014, a freak storm touched down, forcing central Ontario to declare a state of emergency. As we said, tornadoes aren't that common in Canada. This guy didn't know what was happening until he stepped outside and saw it for himself. That's the start of it right there, huh? That is. Mm-hmm. I think that's the start of a tornado. I think it is too. That is. That, that is. Mm -hmm. We got a tornado. Tornado. According to local police, between 20 and 30 homes sustained significant damage but there were no serious injuries. Later on, Canadian officials confirmed that an EF2 tornado had, in fact, touched down in Angus. Wind speeds peaked at around 111 miles per hour. Sergeant Peter Leon described the scene as a complete disaster zone. Around 300 people were left homeless, and thousands were without power across central Ontario. Experts claim that, on average, 230 tornadoes touch down in Canada each year but only 60 of them are ever confirmed. Most of them occur in southern Ontario, like this one over Angus. Other tornado-prone areas include southern Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and New Brunswick. They're all extensions of active tornado areas in the northern U.S. Andreapol is a small district in the Tver Oblast, about five hours east of Moscow, Russia. About 70% of the district's territory is covered by forest. It's why logging is a massive local industry. Many loggers worried for their jobs when a powerful tornado tore through the forests on August 2nd of 2021. According to local reports, it raced across the Russian countryside at 56 miles per hour. Instead of trying to outrun it, this crazy Russian stood in and pressed record.
It's amazing how the scene goes from tranquil to chaotic in under a minute. Look how the wind pulls down trees and tosses around loose objects. In the end, the storm uprooted hundreds of trees and damaged 1,500 homes. Jinghai is a small district in Tianjin Province, China. It consists of 16 towns, two townships, and about a half million people. While most of them are used to monsoons and powerful thunderstorms, nobody was ready when a tornado ripped through their village. According to limited reports, the storm touched down around 5.30 p.m. on August 13th of 2018. Several people from around Jinghai recorded their personal experiences. Some local reporting indicates that one person sustained minor injuries. Several homes and trees were also damaged during the 10-minute storm. On average, about 100 tornadoes will touch down in China every year. They're never as powerful as what we see in Kansas or Oklahoma, but they can still pack a punch. The same is true for the rest of Southeast Asia. Coincidentally, one of the worst tornadoes ever occurred in Bangladesh in 1989. On May 4th of 2020, a powerful storm system spawned several tornadoes near the Texas Panhandle. Jordan Carruthers and his storm chasing team were about 100 miles away in Lawton, Oklahoma when they got the call. Everything lined up perfectly. It was a good day for storm chasing. They raced south to get ahead of the coming storms. Their targets included several tornadoes spinning outside of Rawls, Texas, a small city in Crosby County. As they drove, hail the size of ping-pong balls began battering their car. But that wasn't going to stop them from chasing the ultimate prize. Uh, we might be a little bit, we might. We'll have to see. Those guys are a yep. Yeah, holy crap! Yeah! Holy shit! Oh my god! Look at that! Oh, look at that! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Woo! We were just there. We didn't move. We would have We been might in still it. need to be moving. Yeah, but that's no one's coming through that way now. No, we're good right now. Are you sure? Yeah. The storm was almost on top of them. The entire situation was becoming very unsafe. Thankfully, these guys are pros. They quickly changed locations to get a better vantage point. I got it behind the Oh, yeah. Listen to that. Even after that close encounter, our team wasn't ready to call it a day. They drove east to get ahead of the rain when they encountered another stunning tornado. While the last one was full of dirt, this one was as white as a cloud. According to the National Weather Service, this storm system was a welcomed sight. The rolling plains and parts of southeast Texas were going through a long dry spell. The storm dropped much-needed rain across the region. 
though they could have done without the hail and tornadoes. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.